Hey guys, welcome to my 1 to 99 melee guide for RuneScape 3. So let's get into it. So first we have the different types of armor and weapons that you should use relative to your level. So at level 1 you're going to want to use bronze armor and bronze two-hand sword. Level 10 you're going to want iron, iron two-hand sword. Level 20 is steel, level 30 is mithril, level 40 is adamant, level 50 is rune, and level 60 is dragon. Those first 60 levels, they're pretty straightforward. So once you get to level 70, you have an option between Guthans or Bandos. So Guthans are useful in some situations. With the full Guthan set, it allows you to heal health, and that is pretty useful. For uh, AFK methods, such as Hellhounds, that I'll get into further in this video. Bandos is also really useful because it is DPS armor, gives you a good strength bonus, and using the Ceridomian God Sword also helps because the special ability for that allows you to heal as well, so that is really useful. Uh, level 80, you're going to want to use Torva, and you're going to want to use the Chaotic Maul and Dragon Rider Lance once you get to 85. And at level 90, you're going to want Malevolent, Noxious Scythe, or Drygores and Annihilation if you don't have the money for either of those. So first when you make an account the best way to start training your combat is to do the waterfall quest. Now this quest takes 30 to 60 minutes long and it will give you 13 point or 13,750 XP in strength and attack and uh, this would get you to level, from level 1 to level 30 so it is really useful to do this as soon as you create the account. So next there are a few useful items that you're going to want to know about before you start training your melee. So potions are really useful. You're going to want your strength, attack, defense potions. You can buy Super War Master potions if you have the money for it. And if you have 96 Herblore, you can make overloads, which are the best uh, stat boosted potion. Enhanced Excalibur is also a really useful item to have. You get this by completing the Seer's Village Elite Tasks and it allows you to heal some life points back every 5 minutes. The Charming Olymp allows you to pick up charms which is really useful for summoning and you're going to want to get this up later. And uh, Auras, uh, some useful ones are Vampirism Aura, the Berserk Aura, Penance Aura, Brawler Aura, and Runic Aura. Here is a table of what you're going to want to kill and at what level. So at level 1 to 40, you're going to want to kill trolls in Birthorp. They give you 25,000 to 30,000 XP per hour, and it will take you 1 to 2 hours to get to level 40. Now you can do that uh, waterfall quest just to get you to level 30, and then you can do trolls from 30 to 40. That would be the, the best. From level 40 to 60, you can kill rock crabs, and these are in Fremenic which is also just east of Relica, and it's the northern part of the Fremenic province. They give you 40 to 60 k, uh, k XP per hour, and it'll take you three hours to get from level 40 to level 60. And this is per each stat, so three hours for attack, three hours for strength, and three hours for defense. And next we have Hellhounds. These you're going to want to kill from 60 to 70 or 80. And they are located in the Taverly Dungeon. They can give you 150,000 to 250,000 XP per hour. And it'll take 2 to 3 hours uh, to get to, from level 60 to 70. And it'll take 9 to 12 hours to get from uh, 60 to 80. And this is, again, just for one stat. So attack, strength, and defense um, separate. So it will take um, roughly 30 hours for, to get all of them up from level 60 to 80. And at level 70 to 90, you're going to want to kill Frost Dragons. These are located in the Asgarnian Ice Dungeon. Um, so this does have a requirement of 85 Dungeoneering. Um, it does give you 200, 200 to 350,000 XP per hour, and it'll take you 15 to 18 hours. The good part about Frost Dragons uh, are, is that uh, you can actually make some pretty good money killing them with the frost dragon bone drop hey you can make uh, three mil gp per hour killing these so uh 70 to 99 so an another option at level 70 is to kill abyssal demons these are located in the slayer tower 
and uh, it will give you 500k XP to 750k XP and it will take 18 to 24 hours per skill to get from level 70 to 99 um, these are also pretty decent money 2 uh, mil per hour but uh, to do this really effectively you're going to want to use aggression potions and uh, you're going to want curses and I'll show uh, you that uh, later on in a clip so from level 90 to 99 you can also just kill bosses so some good bosses would include Bandos, Twin Furies, and Vindicta. So Bandos is in God Wars 1, and God Wars 2 is where the Twin Furies and Vindicta are located. You can get um, 150,000 XP per hour to 250,000 XP per hour. And to get one of these skills from level 90 to 99, it will take 35 to 45 hours at these XP rates. But uh, bossing is much more fun, and you uh, will get some pretty good money from these as well. Looking at our first method, which is level 1 to 40, we have Troll Chuckers. They give you, these give you 25,000 XP per hour, and they are located in Birthorpe. So this is how you get to them from the Lodestone. They are in this cave just up here, and they will be in the northern part. So up here, and uh, they are pretty easy to kill. They are, don't have much um, health, so you'll kill them pretty fast. They give you 40 uh, XP per kill, so 40 for 40, which it breaks down into 30 for your combat stat that you're training. So either attack, strength, or defense, and it'll, it will give you 10 for constitution as well. So from level 40 to 60, you're going to want to kill rock crabs. These give you from 40 to 60k XP per hour, and they are located in the northern part of the Fremenic province. So rock crabs do have a few benefits to them. They have level 1 defense, so they should be pretty easy to hit, and they shouldn't be able to hit you that hard. They are pretty low level. And they're also aggressive, so you can stand just next to a pile of them, like these guys over here, and they'll just auto-attack you. You can use your Hurricane ability, Smash ability, Quake ability uh, to hit them all, and this should increase your XP per hour. And you can also be AFK here a little bit if you are just standing beside one of the spots that they uh, spawn. They also have a few decent drops in these Oysters. They are 4k each. So uh, you could make a little bit of money off them, but not that much. Um, they give you 175 combat XP every kill, so that's for your attack, and they give you 58 constitution XP uh, every kill. So next is Hellhounds from level 60 to 70 or 80. These are located in the Taverly dungeon. Uh, you will need the brass key to get here, or 70 agility. And these are also weak to slash, which is really good to know. And uh, they are aggressive for 10 minutes, which makes them a little bit AFK. So as you can see, I am uh, getting attacked uh, by these hellhounds continuously. They are uh, aggressive, and I actually don't have any armor on here, which shows you that they don't actually hit that hard. I do have 99 defense, but... I mean, armor should be able to uh, make that uh, gap if you're a lower defense level. Um, definitely use a two-handed sword here, just so you can use the hurricane ability, quake ability, smash and cleave. These are all really good abilities to use here, and they can boost that uh, XP per hour. So uh, every kill, you can expect 243 combat XP so for attack or strength defense. And uh, they give you uh, 119 uh, constitution XP as well. So next, once you get to level 70 or 80s, then you can kill frost dragons. You can kill these from 70 to 90. And uh, they give you 200 to 350k XP per hour. Now these are located in the Asgarnian resource dungeon. It does require 85 dungeoneering, so keep that in mind. They are weak to stab, and uh, you also make a lot of money off these. Their um, frost dragon bones are currently worth about 11,000 GP each. 
so uh, that is really really good um, you can make th around 3 mil per hour here uh, as well as the 200 to 350k XP an alternate method for when you hit level 70 combat stats is killing abyssal demons these are located in the slayer tower and uh, Martiana so uh, these do require 85 slayer so that is a pretty hefty requirement right there um, they give you 500k to 700k per hour now this is uh, uh, really important that you have curses and you use aggression pots for this method if not you could expect 200 to 300k per hour if you're just killing them but uh, with the curses, aggression pots, using overloads or any like super war master potions or something uh, this would uh, allow you to get the 500k to 700k XP per hour you get 661 combat XP per kill so this goes on attack, strength of defense again and uh, 218 that goes to constitution you can also make 2 mil per hour um, just some uh, tips here enhanced Excalibur is really really useful and uh, you're gonna want curses and overloads again and um, spring cleaner is also pretty useful here just so you can uh, get those rune items you don't have to actually pick them up um, they do drop quite a few rune items that's where most of the money does come from uh, they also uh, have uh, quite a few gem drops so a gem bag would be uh, useful too if you want to actually make some money doing this so another alternative method for when you get to level 90 to 99 are bosses uh, three really useful bosses that you can kill are uh, Bandos and uh, Twin Furies and Vindicta these are all really really good bosses they give you pretty good combat XP per hour or me melee XP per hour and they have uh, pretty good drops as well so here's uh, Bandos it's in God Wars 1 uh, you can actually get some pretty decent drops with uh, with this boss still um, it's about 2 mil per hour maybe 3 mil depending on your uh, luck but uh, the XP for Bando specifically is about 150 to 200 K and uh, then for Twin Furies it's more like 150 K 200 K if you're really really good at it and with Vindicta it goes upward to 250 K um, with Twin Furies, again, you can make 3 mil per hour and Vindicta 3 or 4 mil per hour, maybe even 5. Um, just uh, depending on you get lucky. But uh, the good part about bosses, they don't give you as much XP per hour, but they make up for it in the GP per hour that you could obtain. And it's a little more fun. Uh, you probably will get tired of training at this point, so killing some bosses, changing it up a little bit, uh, looking for these rewarding drops it makes uh, it makes skilling just a little bit better a little bit more fun so yeah I would advise doing this um, this method once you hit level 90 it's pretty pretty nice I mean 90 to 99 your combat stats like they don't really change like you're still pretty equal I mean like with DPS and all that so uh, just have some fun with it once you hit level 90 it's my opinion but uh, yeah, if you want to just grind it out, I'd suggest Absol Demons or something like that. But, I mean, you could uh, do bosses from 99.9 as well. So lastly, just before I end this video, this guide, I'll, I just wanted to show you guys three uh, alternative methods that you can do if you don't like some of these if you can't do them just because I know that frost dragons and abyssal demons they do have pretty high requirements in 85 dungeoneering and 85 slayer so you can kill uh, a level 60 plus you can kill deadly red spiders in the Varrock sewers they should give 100k xp maybe 200k per hour if you can kill them pretty fast now these are weak to crush so make sure you use crush uh, cool little fact about these is uh, that they are free to play monsters so you can actually do these in free to play as well um, and then at 80 plus you can kill spiritual warriors in the god wars 1 dungeon these should give you 250 to 200k xp per hour and uh, you can make quite a bit of money off them as well as they do have a few pretty good drops and lastly is uh, for levels 90 plus uh, you can kill Erut. now these require 92 slayer so it's uh, really high 
Uh, they are located in Curadel's dungeon, and um, you can expect 200 to 300k XP per hour killing these. So thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this is a helpful guide for you guys. Um, let me know if you have any videos, video suggestions that you think I should do in the future. Uh, I am uh, looking for some new video ideas, so it'd be great to hear from you guys what you guys want to see. Um, also, about this video, if there are any methods that you guys think I should have included, just comment below, uh, let me know. Um, uh, but anyway, guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.